December's Mega Stash Builder Box is here, and so is the moment of truth. Yes or no? Find out right now. Hey everybody, Jennifer here with The Sewing Report. First time here? This channel helps you discover your love of sewing. Right now we're going to be taking a look at December's Mega Stash Builder Box. I did a trial period to kind of test out Stash Builder Box. I did it for three months and then they did a switcheroo on me and made the boxes way bigger. So I had to try it out for another three months. So this is the last of the six, now six month trial. So we're gonna see what this month has in store. Okay, same pink box. Let's open this one up. And I've noticed they've been on a roll lately with the art gallery fabrics. So I'm going to assume that we're going to get more of the same. All right, here's your first look. All right, what's inside here? This month, the fabric choice is Garden Dreamer by Maureen Cracknell. And from what I can tell, this is actually pretty cool fabric. All right, let's take a look. All right, here's a good close-up look at the fabrics. This is Garden Dreamer by Maureen Cracknell for Art Gallery Fabrics. You know, I do like these prints. I don't know if I would have bought them for myself, but I'm not like, eh. So, and that's kind of been the whole story with uh, Stash Builder Box. I believe, Pretty much all of the boxes have been art gallery, and a lot of the boxes I've really liked the fabrics, and even when it wasn't choices that I necess don't necessarily would have picked, I'm not like horrified by the selection. So overall, I've actually been pretty happy with that. Usually it comes with some RFL thread, a quilt pattern, and then a pencil. Oh, surprise, surprise, we've got some RFL thread, imagine that. I will say I actually liked last month's quilt pattern a little bit better, but this again, although I haven't really used any of the quilt patterns because I'm overloaded by patterns. And I will say on another note, please forgive the Christmas chaos in the back. I'm making some gifts, so I've kind of got everything everywhere. Ooh, we're changing up. I got a white pencil that says craftiness is happiness. So I think all the other months I got a black pencil, but I actually kind of like the white pencil. And we've got our little thank you note. Now that I'm at the end of this trial period, I do have to tell you that I did cancel my Mega Stash Builder Box subscription, but let me explain. I love the prints I've gotten. I think this company is fantastic, but as I'd mentioned a few times, my fabric collection is just out of control. So I do still stand by my statement that this would be great for someone if you're starting out sewing and quilting and you don't have a lot of fabric yet and you like surprises, this would be great for you. But for someone like me, again, that already has a huge collection and I, I really don't need any more quilt patterns, not gonna lie because I've not even gotten one quilt done this year, there's no way I'm gonna do like eight of them. And I have so many quilt patterns that I've gotten for free that I just, that's just not something that I personally need. So that's my take on the Mega Stash Builder Box. I've really enjoyed doing this and I've enjoyed seeing some of your responses. So if there's another product you'd like me to try and give my feedback on, let me know in the comments. But this has been a great little experiment, but I'm kind of, I am kind of glad it's over just because the idea of continuously getting mail and having this fabric and not knowing what to do with it, it's, it has been a little bit overwhelming for me. That's it for the Stash Builder box, and I will see you next time.